from Dr. David Schwartzberg. Let's talk about loop ileostomies. Just like the last video, when we know this is the ideal location within the rectus sheath, this is the rectus sheath. And the rectus is actually sandwiched between skin and two sets of fascia. And then once you get through that, that's where the actual inside the abdomen where the bowels are. So what we do when we make a stoma is make a little hole in the skin. We make a little slit in the anterior sheath. We move the muscle out of the way. We don't resect the muscle, we just move it out of the way. And then we make a little slit here in the posterior sheath. Now we're in the abdomen. So now we can take this bowel and we can bring it through up to the abdominal wall, whether it's a single loop, like an end ileostomy, or there's actually two pieces of bowel, which is a loop ileostomy. What that looks like here, if we got through all those layers, we're able to take a piece of intestine, it's all the same piece of intestine. We're able to bring it up, see it looks like a loop. The important thing is that the blood supply is all intact and it's all really connected. The only thing we have to do is make a small cut here and we suture that bowel to the skin and then we roll this back on itself and that's what we call brooking. So that one piece ends up looking like this. Put a suture there, and this area is like this. So what it looks like from the top is this lumen, which is the hole, looks like that. And there's another little lumen here, which is this area. And a lot of people don't see that, but that's important because when we reverse the ileostomy, all we have to do is cut right around it. We then undo what we did and bring this loop of bowel back over, recreating what it looked like initially. And all we have to do is put a few sutures here. And then we take all of that and push it back into the abdomen. We close the skin, we close this, we let the muscle go back to where it was, we close this, and we close this. And now the bowel is back in, in the intestine, in the abdomen. It's important because let's say there's someone with Crohn's disease and here's terminal ileal Crohn's disease. Maybe there's a fistula to the right colon and a fistula to the sigmoid colon. Maybe there's even an abscess. Well, you can go ahead and resect all that and reconnect everything so there's no more Crohn's disease left in that area. But to let it heal, you do a temporary bag. Same thing with the J pouch. You do a temporary stoma to allow all the stool to fill the bag so that all this part is left to heal because each area where there's orange is a potential source of a leak. So you let that heal. And then usually three months later is when you do the reversal operation, put everything back in. This all becomes closed. Here's the loop of intestine here. And all these layers are reapproximated. And that is how you create a diverting loop ileostomy, and that is how you reverse a diverting loop ileostomy and the reasons you do it. Thank you.